ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम अंजनाति मिरंदस्य अंजना जना सलाखज चक्षुर मिरितांजना तस्मा श्री उरवे नमः श्री कल्कि पुराना अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ काली युगा टेक्स्ट 30 टू 37 in Kali Yuga, Sudras will accept charity from others or else plunder others' wealth without discrimination. Mutual agreement will become the sole criteria for solemnizing the marriage of a boy and a girl. People will show sympathy and magnanimity, but it will simply be a form of duplicity. Forgiveness will be granted only when a person is to harm the offending party. In a society of might makes right, people will easily become annoyed with those in a weaker position. Even fools will be very talkative in an attempt to prove that they are learned. People will engage in religious ceremonies by simple to acquire a reputation. If one has got wealth, he will be considered to be a saint, just to bath in a holy place. People will travel a great distance to undergo much trouble. Simply by putting on a sacred thread, one will be recognized as a brahmana. Simply by carrying a staff, one will be recognized as a sannyas. The earth will restrict the production of food grains. The currents of rivers will flow very rapidly, and even married women will behave little better than prostitutes, because they have practically no attachment to their husbands. Those who are twice born will be dependent on others so much so that they will not hesitate to engage as priests for shudras. Women will become promiscuous, so that will be easily abandoned by their husbands. Clouds will shower rain very irregularly, and the land will not yield sufficient crops. Kings will whimsically torture and kill their subjects, and burden them with excessive taxes. Such unfortunate subjects will finally take their families and belongings and take shelter of mountains and dense forests. The people of Kali Yuga will sustain their lives by eating flesh, honey, fruits and roots without discrimination. Almost everyone will take pleasure in blaspheming the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. These are some of the symptoms that will manifest at the beginning of Kali Yuga. Right on spot, what these verses 30 to 37 are revealing about Kali Yuga, because it's exactly what is happening nowadays. If you think nowadays, in, for sure, in many countries happens something like this, but it's one new phenomenon in India that the cricket players, superstars, Bollywood actors, pop culture ravish superstars are visiting gurus, are making selfies, selfish, 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 in Holy Dam, like Brindavan. They came to Brindavan, they make selfish and they go viral because they are showing their proudness to Sanatan Dharma. What they are going to eat or to do, watch or to chant when they are back to their places. Eh? Question that. Not all what shines is gold. Another interesting stuff that is telling here in the beginning of Kali Yuga, and this is exactly what is happening now, say that the twice-born will, will depend on people 
and they will not hesitate to go to teach to Shudras. What does it mean? We can see Brahmanas or Goswamis who are teaching the highest tattva on Bhakti, for example, about Radharani, Manjari Bhav, etc. To people who still are smoking marijuana, cigarette, drinking alcohol, and giving diksha to women, even who are taking diksha in drugs, being in a drug, being using drugs. Why? Because they are depending on the money of that. Talking about that, one person who is administrator of one ashram, we were speaking about exactly this point. And I say, why not to teach to these people who are doing so much offenses in Radakund, in Brindavan, etc. Uh, they are doing apparat to the Holy Dam, Dhamma apparat, and this is extremely dangerous for them. And also for the ones who are permitting this, why not to say, hey, you know, in Brindavan or in Holy Dam, you should not be smoking, using drugs or illicit sex or this kind of thing. This is a place for meditation. This is a place for bhajan. This is a place, sacred place. You know what he replied to me? I was like, it's evident, but you need to hear from Indian person. He said, yes, yes, this is possible. They should say something, but it's problem. And I say, why is problem? He say, so how we will support us? Meaning that the donations, the money, exactly what Kalki Purana is telling now. And because in Kali Yuga everything is upside down, the wealth nowadays is in the hands of the most ignorant and abominable, abominable people on, on earth. You can see who is controlling the central bank, etc. It's the worst of the worst. So, Sri Kalki Purana is surprisingly sharp on what is happening right here, right now. Let's keep reading. Text 38. In the second quarter of Kali Yuga, people will no longer shun the holy names of Lord Krishna. In the third quarter of Kali Yuga, there will be an upsurge of unwanted population. And in the final quarter of Kali Yuga, there will be only one class of human being because God consciousness will have been long forgotten. Text 39. When the study of the Vedas, performance of sacrifice, chanting of mantras, and other religious practice does disappear from this world during Kali Yuga, the demigods being afflicted due to not receiving their share of sacrificial offering, will take shelter of Lord Brahma, the grandfather of the universe, who was born from the universal lotus flower. Text 40 and 43. Keeping Mother Earth, who had become emancipated due to great distress in front of all of the demigods, went to the abode of Lord Brahma. There, they experienced that the entire atmosphere was, was surcharged with the sound of the chanting of Vedic mantras, and everywhere was smoke pouring from the sacrificial fire. Lord Brahma, the leader of all sages, was sitting upon his throne, conducting a fire sacrifice of an altar made of gold. Here and there were many gardens and orchards full of flowers, fruits, and wood for performing fire sacrifices. Swans, cranes, and other aquatic birds made wonderful sounds, as if they were greeting their guests with joy. The swans, cranes, and other aquatic birds were surrounded by intoxicated bumblebees hovering around innumerable creepers and flowers, swinging to and fro in the cool breeze. Thus, it appeared as if they were all offering obeisances, obeisances and speaking very sweetly while greeting their guests with great pleasure. 44. 
Thus, all the demigods headed by Indra arrived in the abode of Lord Brahma in a distressed state of mind. By the order of Rajapati, they entered the assembly hall of Lord Brahma so that they could disclose to him the cause of their grief. 45. The demigods first offered their respectful obedience to Lord Brahma, whose lotus feet, lotus feet were being served by perfect beings such as Sanara, Sanaka, Sanandana, and Sanatana, as he sat in meditation. Lord Brahma is the secondary creator of the three worlds who act under the direction of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Thus ends the translation of the first chapter of Sri Kalki Purana. Chapter 2 The Birth on and Sacred Truth Ceremony of Lord Kalki Text 1 Sutta Uvacha Sutta Goswami said, Thereafter, by the order of Lord Brahma, all the demigods sat in front of him and then explained how the observance of religious principles was declining at an alarming rate in Kali Yuga. Text 2 After hearing their words saturated with anguish, Lord Brahma said, Let us all approach Lord Vishnu. We should please him with our prayers so that he may act for our welfare. After saying this, Lord Brahma took all the demigods and went to the abode of Lord Hari, known as Golok. There he offered prayers to the Supreme Lord, informing him of the plight of the demigods. Text 4. After hearing everything in detail, Lotus eyed Lord Hari said, O oh, Brahma, rest ass assured that I will soon descend to the earth and appear in the village known as Shambhala. I will take birth in the house of a Brahmana named Vishnu Jasa from the womb of his wife, Sumati. 5. My mission will be to eliminate the wicked Kali. With the help of my four brothers, O oh, demigods, your expansions should also take birth on the earth to assist me in my mission. 6. My consort, the beloved Lotus Eye Kamala Devi, will also appear on the earth, having the name Padma. She will be born from the womb of Kaumudi, the wife of. Briha Dratta, the king of Shambhala. No, sorry, the king of Shimhala. 7. O oh, demigods, you should not delay. By your plenary portions, take birth on the earth. Later on, I will entrust the responsibility for ruling the earth to two powerful kings named Maru A and Devapi. 8. I will then again establish Satya Yuga and thus reinstate the principles of Dharma as they were before. Rest assured that I will return to Vaikuntha only after destroying the poisonous snakes of Kali. 9. After Lord Hari assured the demigods in this way, Lord Brahma, surrendered by the other demigods, departed for his own abode. Fr abode. From there, the demigods returned to their respective abodes. 10. O oh, greatly powerful Brahmana, thereafter, with a desire to make his appearance within this world in a human-like form by his own transcendental potency, the Supreme Lord Hari, the Super Soul within the heart of everyone, Enter the village of Shambhala. 11. Meanwhile, in due course of time, Vishnu Yasa's wife, Sumati, became pregnant so that all auspicious symptoms began to appear in her body. Thereafter, 
all the presiding deities of the planets, stars, and constellations began serving the lotus feet of the child within her womb. 12. On an auspicious day and at an auspicious time, Lord Hari, the master of the universe, took birth within this world. At this time, all the lakes, rivers, oceans, mountains, demigods, and sages, and indeed all moving and non-moving living entities, become filled with ecstasy. 13. 14. Every living being began to display symptoms of happiness upon the appearance of the Supreme Lord. The forefathers danced in ecstasy. The demigods sang the glories of Lord Hari. The Gandharvas played musical instruments, and Apsaras danced with great jubilation. 15. In this setting, Lord Hari incarnates within this world in his form as Kalki on the twelfth day during the fourth night of the waxing moon in the month of Vaisaka. Upon seeing the beautiful baby, the hearts of Vishnu, Yas, and Sumari became filled with great happiness. 16. When Lord Kalki appeared, Mahasastri was his nurse. Ambika cut his umbilical cord and Savitri cleansed his body with water from the Ganges. 17. On the auspicious day of Lord Kalki's advent, Mother Earth showered nectar in the form of an abundance of milk, and the elderly ladies blessed the child with auspicious words. 1819. Lord Brahma, who knew the mystery of the Lord's appearance, has still called for his, called for his servant, Pavana, and told him to immediately go to the maternity home and offer the following prayers to Lord Vishnu. O oh Lord, please consider how this four-armed form of yours is rare, rarely seen, even by the demigods. Please assume a two-armed form like that of a human being, and then carry on your mission. Twenty. Without delay, Pavana Deva whose cooling body has a very pleasing aroma, went to the maternity room of Lord Kalki and submit Brahma's appeal. 21. When the lotus eye Lord hear this request, he immediately assumed a two-armed form. His father and mother were certainly struck with wonder upon seeing this wonderful pastime of the Lord. 22. The parents could not understand the actual truth regarding their son because of being bewildered by the Lord's yoga maya potency. They considered that their vision of the Lord's forearm form had been a hallucination, and that all along they had witnessed his two-armed form. Thereafter, all the inhabitants of Shambhala celebrate the Lord's appearance by performing auspicious rituals completely forgetful of their material miseries. 23. Having received the all-glorious Lord Vishnu, the master of the three worlds, as her son, Mother Sumati's happiness knew no bounds. She invites the Brahmanas and gave them each 100 cows in charity. 24. For the welfare of his child, the pure heart, Vishnu Yas invited many Brahmanas that were expert in reciting the Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, and Sama Veda, and had them perform the child's name giving ceremony. 25. At that time, Lord Rama, Kripacharya, Vyasadeva, and Ashvatama came there in the guise of the Brahmanas to have the darshan of Lord Hari, who has assumed the form of child Kalki. 26. As Vishnu Yas, the four moors of Brahmanas, gazed upon these four exalted Brahmanas whose effulgence was equal to that of the sun god, his air stood on end, and then 
worship these four exalted personalities, offering them nice prayers. 27. After being worshipped by Vishnu Jas, th these four who were disguised as Brahmanas, who could indeed assume any form at will, sat and is in their respective places. While sit, they gazed at child Kalki as he was sitting upon the lap of his father. 28. The four exalted Brahmanas offered their obediences unto Lord Vishnu, who had assumed the form of a human being. They very well understood that Lord Kalki had appeared to rid the earth of all those who had become degraded to the level of sinful demons. 29. The four exalted Brahmanas named the transcendental child Kalki. They happily performed the child's birth ceremony and then depart for their own abodes. The birth and sacred truth ceremony of Lord Kalki. We will leave this story, this reading in the text 29. We will continue in text 30 in the next episode. I hope you enjoy this reading. And if you have any question of, or comments or extra information about Sri Kalki avatar, then leave it there in the comment section below. Thanks very much for watching. Jai Shri Hari Ki Jai